Temple Geising Man. What a perfect place for a glass of... Pims. The but, real Pims. Ah, we're going to show you the alternative to Pims. Why are we doing this? Because Pims have diluted it so much. It's almost like drinking lemonade. London Dry Gin. London Dry Gin. Berry Brothers and Rudd. Notice one of the finest purveyors of wines and spirit in London. Martini. <laughs> Try a taste of Martini. Do you remember that? I do ad? remember that ad. And this is, look, this is the secret ingredient. Mm, triple sec. Orange curacao. Orange. But we don't have lemonade. We don't have, no. To tell you why, ginger ale is far better than lemonade. Okay. Now, Rachel, what have you prepared earlier for us? I have been slicing some cucumber and some lemons. Don't overdo your Pim's cup right. with, a, with a sort of menagerie of fruit. It spoils it. All you want is cucumber, lemon, and... Do you know what this is? Borage. Borage. <laughs> Borage. A traditional English herb that you'll find in English country gardens, especially here at Temple Guiding Manor. Have you got some mint there? And some mint. Okay. That's more contemporary. Let's start with a good mm. glug of gin. It smells good. Martini, good glug of martini. Anytime. Anywhere, any place. Don't worry about these bloody measuring pots or whatever. Just just do what you feels like right. You've done that a few times before though, Nigel. Oh, indeed, there you go. And then the secret ingredient, the orange curacao. Mm. And now we're going to top it up with fever tree, fever tree ginger ale. Gives you a slightly drier taste. And this is the first time Rachel's tried this. So this she's going to, Yeah, so she's going to tell me how close this is to the real Pims. Mm, that's superb. Mm, I think I might finish that one. Join us next time. Temple Guiting, the village. For all seasons.